Today I'm going to show you how to properly install a canister style oil filter starting now. On today's video I'm going to show you how to install a canister style oil filter correctly without over tightening or causing a leak. But before we get started on that, if you're new here, drop down, hit the subscribe button. Let's give this video a thumbs up. So I want to do a series of videos on basics of maintenance. That way anybody who watches this understands why things are done a certain way. I just want to help educate anybody that hasn't done an oil change how to do something and why. So I hope you find these videos useful. Um, if you find them useful, share them with your friends or share them with anybody that might need to see this information. So without further ado, let's go. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do if you're just doing an oil change and you've already pulled the old filter off, make sure the filter O-ring is still not stuck to here and actually went with the filter and make sure there's no debris on the ceiling surface. All right, step two, if you're installing the filter vertically, you want to fill, put new oil in the filter until it's flush and then take some of that oil and run it around the new o-ring then you want to start the filter and make sure you don't cross thread it you feel the start just like that spin it until you feel any slight drag of it bottoming out and then you want to go three quarters of a turn you can always mark your filter if i mark mine up top there's about half three quarters of a turn and that that's not leaking and now you're probably thinking self why does three quarters of a turn matter why can't I just go until it quits moving well I'm gonna put picture number one is one that was too tight that I try to get off I had to use an air hammer and then if you go too loose it'll leak and then if you look on the manufacturers oil filters or the boxes Say this I put on as a motor craft, it'll actually say three quarters of a turn. GM's filters, three quarters of a turn. An off brand one, three quarters. And a champ filter, three quarters. So, why three quarters? Because that's what the engineers that engineered the filter said that it needs to go so to seal. I've never had one leak. So, again, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments or anything you'd like to see in a future video, drop it down in the comments. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. That way you stay updated on new and upcoming videos. And give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.